Many people lack trust in their bodies when it comes to zone 2 training. I'm emphasizing here that the primary focus is often on quantifiable metrics such as wattage, heart rate or other advice from various sources to determine your zone 2. While these metrics are undeniably valuable and needed tools for practicing in this zone, you should never disregard the importance of tuning into your body's unique signals and recognizing the specific circumstances you find yourself in. Engaging in low-intensity cardio training introduces a range of factors that can impact your performance. So if you identified a specific wattage or heart rate range as your zone 2 marker, that's fantastic. However, it's essential to note the potential influence of variables like dehydration, inadequate recovery, stress, or shifting environmental conditions. These factors can sometimes elevate your heart rate or accelerate muscle fatigue, requiring an adjustment in your wattage to stay within zone 2, as you are not metabolically as efficient as you usually would. Inigo San Milan has given a great example of this when he says that if your power output has a bigger heart rate shift than 4 to 6 beats per minute, your power is too high and you should lower your intensity. The same principle applies to heart rate monitoring. Suppose you're adhering to your heart rate zone, but notice the need to exert more power and effort to maintain your usual zone 2 heart rate and heightened breath intensity despite your heart rate still appearing in the correct range. Or more remarkably, if you feel lactate in your muscles, it means lactate has been pushed into your bloodstream, which is a clear sign that you are out of zone 2. The key strategy here is to comprehensively assess your body's responses from multiple perspectives and gather data from your workouts. Whether it's monitoring your lactate levels, wattage output, heart rate, or simply paying attention to your physical sensations. This holistic approach aids in identifying your baseline. So if one metric stray from your established baseline, you have the insights needed to make the appropriate adjustments based on your comprehensive self-awareness. I highly recommend incorporating a warm-up and a cool-down each time you train to boost this self-awareness. These sessions will help you gather more data about your muscle soreness, stiffness, and energy levels. Doing so empowers you to establish meaningful connections between any observed performance variations or metric deviations, and the necessary course corrections. This proactive approach ensures that you derive the full benefits from your training sessions, rather than mechanically adhering to a predetermined protocol, potentially missing out on valuable gains Zone 2 can provide. If you enjoyed this video, you will find the full video link in the description for a comprehensive understanding and practical tips. Registration for our new longevity coaching program is now open. So if you're done wasting time on trial and error and are ready to take action towards a longer, healthier life, click the link below to schedule a free call with us and get started within a week. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel for daily longevity-related videos.